Well, I bought two of them. One P-Tech or something. And uh, this is another one, but it's exactly the same. Uh, I can't pronounce that, so... <laughs> okay. Set that 12 volts. We have... It's not bad. Thirty-six. There is a little difference between between the two. This one, this one is lower voltage, a little lower. So now the load is on. So now we have We'll put it a little lower. Otherwise, uh, the current limit kicks in. Regarding current, it's not bad. I've set it to 20 milliamps, so it shows 17 and 19.8 milliamps on the multimeter. So 50 milliamps shows 48. 49.8 so it's very close 100 milliamps it's close I'm surprised Three hundred. It's uh, two point seven milliamps difference. Seven hundred. Two milliamps difference. So not bad at all. But for going higher, so 
that's the maximum. And then uh, I switch here to a lot of more amps. Can sink 42 amps. So we switch back on. Nine hundred, nine hundred and two. I said one point five amps, one point five zero one, one point five zero one. Good. Two amps. Two zero zero eight, two zero ten, two milliamps difference. Let's go three M. Great. Fantastic. The fan still not kicking in. As I noticed in the setup, uh, the brightness you can set it to zero or one, but it makes barely any difference. So, practical no difference between lower brightness and higher brightness. I'm not still not kicking in. So I like I like them both. This one was cheaper. <laughs> Our fan is kicking in for a short time. and it already stops so let's switch the load off and we go back to M1 that should be 1 amp and one is set to 1 amp switch it back on the overcurrent protection is not switched on. The load will still pull 5 amps when I switch it on. And the voltage will go down, but it still pulls 1 amp. Look. So instead of 12 volts we have now uh, 0 0.17 and still one amp flowing so because of that I uh, always put the overcurrent protection on then I imme immediately know that something is uh, wrong or that I have set uh, the current too low so I switch on the overcurrent protection now and now it uh, will go in alarm when I pull, try to pull that 5 amps so 
I like this a lot. I didn't check it, but uh, I suppose it works. USB C output and USB A output. It should uh, do. I don't know what was in the manual, but I found it in the manual. Fast charging function, built-in multi-protocol fast charging. Output power up to 18 watts. Uh, the temperature sensing. Uh, it's with a, a diode, a silicon diode here. I don't know if you can see it. Capacitors. Low ESR capacitors. Looks quite nice. The other side. This is the silicon diode. The trace is come to here. And it just with some paste that it Connects to the heat sink. But I ordered uh, a temp sensing uh, module so the speed can be variable. And I will mount a temp sensor on the cooling. I like it a lot. Okay, nothing much more to say. Thank you, bye bye.